Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at how to exploit WordPress, more specifically we're going to be finding the username and the password on a vulnerable WordPress uh, server or in this case we're actually using a virtual machine that has WordPress running on it. Now the reason I'm doing this and a lot of people ask me this question is why hasn't your channel got any copyright strikes and that's because I perform everything in my virtual lab. That means I'm not attacking anyone or causing harm to anyone uh, apart from, uh, you know, the targets in my lab. So uh, I have uh, downloaded a vulnerable WordPress server that is running on Debian from Turnkey Linux. I'm pretty sure you know that site. Uh, right now they have a lot of virtual machine um, they have a lot of VMs that you can use for testing, etc. And you know, you can learn and practice a lot of stuff. So I have it right here and I've started, I've configured it up and I've used the default, um, I've used the default credentials. So I actually don't know what the username and password combination is and we're going to be doing it live. Uh, so there's some information here that it's giving you, uh, which is pretty helpful. Uh, we know that the, uh, the server, the IP address, the local IP address is 192.168.1.108. All right, uh, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first uh, is I'm just going to start off with 192.168.1.108, right? And uh, obviously it's going to be a WordPress site, as you can see here. And uh, now the most important thing is to start enumerating the username and hopefully we can crack a password. Now, uh, I do, you know, I would like to just tell you that I'm using a, a word list, a special, well, a basic word list that I found quite a few years ago that has been actually quite helpful. Uh, so I have that already downloaded and um, hopefully we can find the username and password here. So it's using default credentials, so it'll be much easier. But I'm just explaining, uh, um, this is just a, a bit of a practical explanation as to one how one would go about doing this using WordPress scan. All right, so we know it's running WordPress, and uh, you know if you if you if you're familiar with web penetration testing, you know that WordPress uh, sites have the w WordPress admin page, right? That allows you to log in. So uh, we know we can actually log in here. Sorry about that. All right, so anyway, it's working really really well. So WordPress is actually running, and I do not know the login credentials. So we're gonna hopefully try and find them. Now we do have the server IP and obviously we do know that it's running WordPress, right? So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up WordPress scan or WP scan. All right. So as you can see, I have it on my favorites uh, or on my dock here and uh, to launch it, it's really very simple. You can just go to your terminal and you just hit WP or WordPress scan. So W whoops, my bad. Sorry about that guys. Apologies there. I was smashing on my space bar. All right, so w, WP scan. All right, and uh, if I just hit enter, it's going to give me the help options. There we are. So there's a lot of options and we'll be covering most of them here. We can also use the W scan help. All right, so to enumerate the help options. There we are. So we have the help options and we're going to be using some some basic commands here, but and I'll, ex I'll be explaining uh, what they do. All right, so uh, let's get started now. The first thing we need to do is we need to enumerate the usernames and this can be done, you know, by exploiting the vulnerable plugins. Now by default, as I've already said, this WordPress version is vulnerable and it is set up to be vulnerable and it's just a way of me explaining how this goes really. Okay, so let me just clear that up and we can get started. Let me maximize the terminal because we're going to need all this, the real estate that we have, that we actually need. All right, excellent. Let's begin. So now we're going to start off with, um, let me just enumerate the help here just to get started. Uh, so we're, we're going to actually start enumerating the username. So the username, uh, in, of, of course, we're looking at the basic syntax here. So again, since we're using the U command because we are targeting a URL, so the syntax will be pretty simple. We'll be using the U command. Um, we'll be using the E command, uh, if I can find it here. Uh, yeah, there we are, there to enumerate options. And then we're going to be enumerating usernames. So again, it's going to get usernames here. And finally, we're going to be targeting only the vulnerable plugins. All right, so that is right here, VP, only the vulnerable plugins. So let's get started. So I'm just going to clear the terminal again. And there we are, so WP scan. And after that, we use the IP address. So 192.168.1.108, excellent. Now we use the E to enumerate, all right, the E command. Now we use U, 
All right, because we are specifying enum enumerate username, so u is not actually a, an argument or a parameter. Uh, it's it's more of an expression of enumerate. All right, so e u so enumerate usernames, and uh, I want you to target only vulnerable plugins. There we are. So uh, hopefully this returns the default username. So I'm gonna hit enter, and this should be relatively quickly because again the username is not um, is is going to be the default username. So I'm just gonna hit enter. And whoops, sorry about that. Oh, my bad. Apologies. I forgot to specify the the U command there to target the URL. Uh, so once we hit enter, this should give us. All right. So there we are. And it's targeting the. Oh, immediately we've got it. All right. Awesome. As you can see, uh, the default WordPress uh, username is admin. So that's the really, really easy way of uh, targeting vulnerable plugins to find the username. Again, you know, targeting the vulnerable plugins are super important and this gives you an awesome, as you can see, WordPress Super Cache, I actually have used this plugin before and actually they've they fixed these issues now, but this was something really, really big. I, I actually remember a lot of people exploiting this back in the day. Uh, the WordPress Super Cache essentially just speeds up your website and purges the files on your website to make it load faster. Anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, it's performed, it's enumerated the username and we have the username as admin. Fantastic. Now we need to enumerate the password or we need to actually brute force for the password. Right. Uh, so I already have a word, uh, a word list that I've created or I had for, from a long time ago. And uh, it has all the default username and password combinations for most of the top websites, uh, you know, in the world. So for example, Yahoo, Gmail, uh, you know, Twitter, it's all of that stuff. So I have it right here. And uh, I've, uh, I've already uh, modified it and sorted it so that it takes, uh, uh, you know, a less amount of time for the WordPress scan to actually get the password. All right, so I'm going to clear this out. So we've got the username and now we're getting the password. Awesome. So uh, now we essentially need to get the, uh, the password. So WordPress scan, let me just enlarge the terminal here and clear that again. WordPress scan, there we are. WordPress scan U. 0.108, that's the IP address or the URL for that matter. Now we are also enumerating usernames, whoops. Enumerating the username because it's also very important to enumerate usernames with the uh, password combination. All right, now we specify word list. So we are specifying a word list here. All right, now after we specified the word list, we can then select the directory of the word list. Mine is in, on my root and on my, uh, it's actually in my root directory. So I'm going to just select the word list.txt file. There we are. And uh, let's hit enter. And let's see what we get. It should actually do this really, really quickly. This, uh, this word list is, oh, there we are. Fantastic. <laughs> I did that really, really quickly. And again, it's used the brute forcer and it took like ooh, zero seconds, I believe. There we are. So uh, login, the admin, username is admin, password is admin123. And let's actually try that right now. That was really, really quickly. The, uh, that was really, really quick. So WordPress admin and uh, the, us the username is admin, password is admin123. I believe, or actually, I believe the username was admin with the lowercase, uh, if I'm correct. Yeah, I can actually see that it's telling me to, there we are, all right. And uh, we have successfully, um, we have successfully exploited WordPress. Now, granted that it's running uh, the, you know, quite an old version of WordPress, WordPress 4.7.4. Uh, regardless of that, with, with the plugins that it does have installed, uh, we were able to exploit it really, really easily using WordPress scan. And it's a fantastic tool, really. Now one would go about usually what a lot of the black hats do is they would go to plugins and they would add new and they'll go to the file manager. All right. So let me just show you this right now. They would go to the file manager and they would look, uh, whoops, they would actually install the file manager, go to plugins and install the file manager plugin. And then they would get a reverse shell and replace it with the 404 page and then uh, actually trigger that page and they essentially have access uh, or a reverse a reverse shell or a interpreter shell, all right? So they would install the file manager. And if I just, uh, you know, if I just search for reverse shell, oops, re reverse shell 
PHP. There we are. Reverse shell PHP. And this should actually return uh, quite an easy. Uh, there we are. PHP reverse shell. That's uh, the one they use a lot. So I'm just going to activate the file manager here. And I'm just going to download it. It's a pretty small file. I'm going to save. It's essentially a very, very simple PHP. Of course, it has to be in PHP because you're replacing the actual uh, 404 PHP file. All right. So there we are. I'm going to open this up and I just open that up. Let me extract this here. And we have the PHP reverse shell there. PHP reverse shell, copying the PHP reverse shell. You can read the readme and you can configure the PHP reverse shell, obviously, to connect to your IP address here. As you can see, there's a few. There we are. Change this. So the IP address, uh, you essentially change that and the port you want it to connect to. And yes, you upload it and replace it. Um, you replace it with the editor here, settings, and you go to general, I believe. Is it general? Yes, you go to general or appearance and customize. There we are, appearance and editor. There we are. That's what we have to go to. And one would go to the 404. Uh, if I can find that, there we are, 404 template. And they would replace the in, uh, they would just get rid of all of this and they would replace this 404 script here and update the file. And what happens is when you go to, for example, 192. 168.1.108 and you go to the 404 page uh, there we are it would essentially load the script and uh, you know there you go 404.php for that matter so uh, that would grant you you know that would actually act as a backdoor into the WordPress system and there you go so that's essentially how to exploit a vulnerable WordPress system I know this was quite basic uh, but again it's very important to understand the flow the flow of procedures and how things work. So we started off with enumerating usernames, uh, passwords, and then we logged in. And then you need to uh, you need to find a way to maintain access. And then there's clearing up your tracks. But in this case, in most cases, the black hat hackers will uh, you know just take over the entire WordPress site and they claim responsibility immediately. Uh, so that's how it's done. And hopefully this also gives you great awareness and a few security tips you can take away from this. If you're a WordPress site owner, uh, get, uh, make sure all your subdomains are, you know, if you, if you have a subdomain and you're performing some testing on it and you know, you're running, uh, some really, uh, some really, really vulnerable scripts, please do not list them. Just work on them in your own, uh, you know, modularized environment and do not upload them to your server until they're ready. Right. The next thing is to keep your WordPress updated and keep your plugins updated. That's very, very important. And I would really, really recommend that you do not install any plugins that do not have good ratings, irregardless of whether or not they perform uh, a task. You know, I would really recommend that you use the, the most popular and the highest rated ones because they are they promise the, the best uh, security. All right. And the last one is to take regular backups of your site. So that, uh, you know, in case of anything, of any breach, any hack, you can easily, uh, you know, you can easily get a hold of your site and uh, you can re-upload it uh, to another WordPress server and you're pretty much good to go. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for the support. We are now pushing for 50,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support and, uh, you know, it's time to get work videos every day. And yeah, if you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section or you can hit me up on my social networks or on Kick, And you can get the latest hacking news and resources on my website, hsplug.com. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.